What's the uh, what's the character you get recognized the most for? Uh, I would say it's Joe Dirt. Yeah, it's people yelling Joe, Joe Dirt, Dirt lines at you. Then Tommy Boy, Ben Schwarmers, Grown Ups. Does does it make you sad at all that uh, like Tommy Boy? We're both thirty four years old, so Tommy Boy was like is that right in the pocket for you? Guys? That yeah. was oh, the really? movie. Oh, good, right? like yeah, the yeah, movie. Yeah, but now we're at a point where. I'm sure there's kids, 20 year old kids who are like they Tommy Boy. It. What? Yeah, it's, like, come on, man. That's a they classic. don't know Farley. I mean, that, that's, yeah, people have asked me, and that's hard. Well, girls like, oh, don't know anything. I mean, right? They're, they're like, I go, they crank Zeppelin. I go, Zepp. And they're like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I go, Led Zeppelin, Zeppelin. Well, Aww. this is probably because you're dating 20 year olds. Yeah. but yeah. And then I go, yeah. you don't know Led Zeppelin? They're like, dude, I don't know who Maroon Five is. All right, I'm young <laughs> and you're old. Is there a problem? I'm like, no, I'll get you out of mommy. <laughs> So uh, all, all good. And good. The the one thing I know you probably are sick of everyone who you've ever done an interview with bringing up Chris Farley. But the one thing I wanted to just ask quickly. Oh, you guys are in the pocket. You okay? Yeah, like so we, boy. yeah, yeah we sure. loved it. So your chemistry that was it. You know mm. what I mean? Like we a lot of people listen to this podcast because of our chemistry. Was it as good? You guys have chemistry? Yeah, we do. Yeah, okay. you wouldn't notice, but. Uh, it I'll was, see it toward the end, I'm sure. Was it now we just <laughs> fucked before you got in here. Yeah, so now this poor woman is lost. Oh, she's got questions for you oh, later. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's later. her podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. mom. Oh, I yeah. thought you just... Tra- that's Jill. No, no, no. no. Well, Jill, write that down. I she's thought gonna, she was so polite that she was lost. She goes, I don't want to leave till the end. No, no, no. So your ke- was your chemistry off screen just as good on screen? I mean... Yeah, that was how it was based, is Lauren, our boss, would watch us walk around, and I would say, like... Farley would go, oh, they have a McDonald's in Madison, too. I go, oh, I think it's on wheels, and it comes down here. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, dumb fuck. <laughs> and he goes, let's go to the ATM. And then he goes, uh, and he pulls out $20, and he goes, I go, let's go to dinner. He goes, oh, I have to go to the ATM again. I go, dude, take 200 out of the clip. <laughs> fuck, why, are you taking 20 at a time? He goes, yeah. I go, are you Wisconsin, Dundee? <laughs> You're in New York now. Meanwhile, you know, I'm from Arizona. Yeah. I don't know anything either, but I know to take... 200 outside of to go there and get uh, knifed every five seconds. Right. I go, ATMs are not where I want to hang at midnight, dude. Right, right. Grab and go. And then Lauren would watch me make fun of him. And then he'd see him come and go, David, say, make fun of me for what I'm wearing. And I go, Jesus. <laughs> so after a while, and then in read through, I'd make faces at him when he was bombing, which is pretty much never. And then, uh, and then Lauren goes, why don't you write a movie about how you guys are? And so he assigned two writers from SNL, which is a big deal because I wasn't even on that much. Chris was already like star blowing up. Yeah. yeah. And I was on a little enough, but he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Fred Wolf took it over another writer there, one of our buddies. And then we went up to Toronto and then me, Fred, Chris and Pete Siegel, the director, no one even cared. They just go give him some money. Paramount has a deal with Lauren, just go. But they weren't there every day. So we just go, add in jokes add in housekeeping add in does my face look fat like just trying to add something to make scenes because it's a movie about selling brake pads like you could never pitch that right who would, who would care it's the dumbest idea if you go two guys sell brake pads they're from ohio and everyone's like right and you're like, that's sort of it uh-huh i don't want to give it all away but that, well, that is it that's all of it so so we we would spice it up and go what do we got tomorrow what if you wore a clip on we just do one throwaway joke and you don't know that later on those will be remembered forever no mm-hmm. yeah have no idea and so and and farley when i hit him with a board in the face by the third time he goes fuck you i go i have to hit you dude i don't even know what to do i don't even know if it's balsa wood anymore i think we ran out now it's still <laughs> straight up two by four it's oak yeah, yeah. <laughs> solid mahogany and i don't know uh and, and but during the movie we'd be so tired and we'd go back and forth on this little puddle jumper private jet which is basically an MRI with wings. We were both like in there jammed. It wasn't, it wasn't like I'm some rapper. Right. It's just like staring at each other, pissed off about to get in a fight. Because SNL, good night. Hey, Tom Hanks, thank you. Get in a car straight to the airport, straight to Toronto. Shoot at seven in the morning, cramming lines. Come back for a read through. Go back. Come back for rehearsal on the show. And doing that for weeks, it's getting freezing out. And, we just started to go bananas. Cause you, and if someone said it's going to be a hit, then you could hang in there. Right. Uh-huh. But, but no like, one knows. What the fuck are you they doing in Toronto? It. I go, I don't even know. We're just screwing off. Yeah. And but that kind of answers the question because you guys were such good friends. Right. And, you know, those are the moments when you're tired. And, and it, we were good at looking out for each other. Like I go, Chris, why don't you do this like you do at the office? That's funny. Just we'll throw that. We'll find a way to put it in there. 
And even the director, who's great, but sometimes he goes, I don't get, this has nothing to do with the story. I'm like, I know, we just, we don't either, but just, I think this is what, it makes us crack up. Yeah. And so, and then he goes, what did you say to me the other day? And we're like, oh, right, right, right. Okay, put that in there. And that's looking out for each other because you know, I know if he's good, it helps me. Mm -hmm. If this movie takes off, I'm in it with him. So that's how it worked. And then Black Sheep was a little trickier because they wanted to split us up with the new director. And we kept saying, well, it's better when we're together and fighting and yelling at each other. And, but you know, it still worked out. We had a lot of parts of Black Sheep we liked, but they threw away 40 pages. I wish I could find them. That was the funnest. I, 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 I would, still like Black Sheep. Yeah, yes. Black yeah. Sheep had good stuff. Yeah, It just would have been more. It probably would have been better. Mm -hmm. uh, who knew? But you know, who knows? So when you got your start on SNL, I, from what I remember, about your career i read some stuff about you a long time ago i forget yeah. what, exactly where i saw it but um you were doing a lot of writing for the show and a lot of the stuff that you were writing was going to dana carvey right yeah or whoever yeah i, I have to imagine that that's got to be frustrating because you're trying to get as much screen time as possible you're a cast member Beyond, you're trying to yeah. get on the camera and you know for whatever reason it's not working out like was there any point where you thought like maybe i'll just quit maybe this is not worth the effort me being up here yeah, I even told my guys I wanted to quit. It was too hard. It's like being, I was in a fraternity and I was hazed and fucking, this is ex like the same thing. I'm not the main guy. I'm, uh, Sandler's doing better now. He, he came on right after me, but he was doing better. Schneider was doing Copy Machine. Mm -hmm. Dana's crushing it, but I look like Dana. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if a sketch came up like Cam Macho Camacho Man, and then Sandler goes, don't you forget about the Macho Man. <laughs> he does a bit and he looks like him. All right. If I thought of that someone looked like Dana Carvey, then Dana gets it. Right. So I'm like stuck. Schneider got to play people that I could, you know. So first of all, you're about your look. It's a crapshoot. And then, and Dana's great. So Ross Pro came up. I go, I could do that. And they go, we, we want Dana to do Ross Pro and Bush. I'm like. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> that's like, now you're breaking the rules. Yeah, like, you're, you're giving up. That's why I feel bad sometimes now when they bring in stars on SNL mm -hmm. to play all these parts because. I'm sure the cast is like, hey, I get nothing. You know, it's hard enough to get those little crumbs. Yeah, right. But they go, no, nope, Matt Damon's playing him this week. And you're like, oh, <laughs> fuck. This is, this is cheating. Yeah. Yes. But you, it's the way it is. Do you take a little pride knowing that, like, uh, SNL, I, it didn't dip after, because they had Will Ferrell and all that after, but there was definitely a point in time where everyone's like, this is. Yeah, everyone the says, time. like, they have their times they liked. Like, if you like that time, that was great for you. And, uh, and people say those were good years. We didn't we didn't really feel it then, but I do love Will Ferrell. Maybe after those years, there wasn't enough as a group. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think they've had waves. There's always good people on it. Mm -hmm. But maybe because when I just look back at the writers we had, they're all like well-known. So yeah. great writers, and then you have a great, or a lot of good people. I mean, forget me, but everyone's on there could hold their hold up their end and more they could all, they all went on to be big stars so mm -hmm. that's just the beginning so you're catching like their rookie year which is great to see everyone you're just like you don't know it but you see a sketch and you're with you know even gap girls it's me farley sandler and then there's maybe schneider and alec baldwin's in it and you look back at a photo and you go oh my god how fun was that like, right everybody was good you throw anybody a line they're good they come up with stuff Chris Rock's next to you if you need a joke. What would I say here? He's like, well, man, man. and he says something. You're like, later you go, I'm getting freebies from Chris Rock. It, right. It's almost like looking back at the dream team at in the basketball. Yeah. You know, where you're like, wait, that was the like magic yeah, and MJ all, and Bird. And like together, you keep yeah. going. You're like, shit, all we these guys were together. We definitely could have out sketched Yugoslavia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Using yeah. no timeouts. Yeah. Uh, Spain. When, when, you were, uh, when you were in that moment, did you realize how fun it was or was... One of those things where later on you're like, damn, that was really, that was a good time for you us. You always try to have fun with it and there's waves of it, but the underlying stress of not knowing if you're coming back and not knowing if you're, you, you never feel like you're doing enough. So there's always someone going, hey, there's another batch of assholes at the improv, we'll bring them in. Mm -hmm. Or right. they're willing to fly themselves in tomorrow. And you'd hear about them having auditions and you're like, wait, they're having auditions? We have enough people, we have too many. Uh, right. Maybe they're getting rid of some people. And that was every year I had to get rid of my apartment and then come back and get another one. And once that I got sucks. hired back, it was just tough, but that's the way it is over there. It's always been the same. And anybody, I just saw dinner with uh, Molly Shannon and Bill Hader and uh, Will Forte and Tim Meadows. 
and we just all have the same stories. I mean, they were like right after me, but yeah, exactly the same.